Chase, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. A uh, couple of things. Can you uh, briefly talk about uh, how you think things went today? And then I'm wondering if you can sort of fast forward ahead a little bit and give me your sense of where the program's at and what you guys uh, expect to uh, to do in the fall. I think overall today uh, was a good day for both sides of the ball. I think, you know, both sides did some good things and, you know, both sides got to learn uh, on some things they didn't do so well. But I think overall, you know, offense came out, uh, you know, we're throwing the ball, running the ball really well. I think the offensive line did a really good job today, uh, especially with the young guys we have in there. And then fast forwarding a couple months, you know, I think this program's headed an upward trajectory and we just got to keep building on what, what we did in spring and then, keep working in the summer and fall. And then, you know, when season comes around, we'll be ready. There's a lot of talk from some of your teammates who did sideline interviews on TV today that, that the goal and the reason why some of the super seniors, the so-called super seniors came back is to challenge for a Rose Bowl. Now that's kind of a goal for every team every year, but why would that be different for you guys this year, you think? I think this is a really special team we got. Um, I think the talent we have, especially a lot of the guys coming back, you know, we're, we're a veteran squad. We're really experienced. We're probably one of the most experienced teams in the Pac-12 uh, at every position. So to have that factor, you know, is, is, a, is a good thing for us. And, uh, you know, our goal is to win the Pac-12 uh, and play in the Rose Bowl and win that ultimately. So we just got to keep striving towards that. You guys had a lot of weird stuff happen last year, of course, like everybody else. Um, but Justin kind of alluded to the team having a chip on its shoulder again. You think that will help you? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot to prove. Um, you know, we went uh, one and three last year. We only played four games. Uh, disappointed with, you know, how the season turned out to be. Uh, but, you know, we were also hit with, with COVID protocols and regulations within our, our county and state. Um, you know, the one game we played with our full roster, we, we beat the number 13 team, Oregon. Uh, it just kind of shows, you know, with our full team, what, you know, what our potential is. And we, you know, we just got to stay healthy and keep working towards our common goal, which is, you know, one of the Pac-12 and a Rose Bowl. Thanks, Chase. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to Max Frankie with Bear Insider. Chase, you're entering your fifth season now. And uh, can you talk about how your game is evolving? And do you feel like you're getting better and better? Yeah, I think, you know, since I came in here as a freshman, my game has always been evolving. You know, you learn new things each and every year. Uh, you know, that comes with experience and then also, you know, working on yourself, looking back and self-evaluation, um, you know, each and every year, you know, I try to add something new to my game that will make me different than, you know, the year past. Uh, and you know, I think I'm doing that. And then going into my fifth year, you know, I got a lot of experience under my belt. You know, I think I'm the most experienced quarterback in the Pac-12, um, played a lot of football for Cal, played a lot of football around my guys. Uh, so just keep building on that chemistry and ultimately we just got to go perform on Saturdays. Yeah, and is there anything specifically this offseason you're trying to work on? I mean, specifically, no. I think just overall, you know, getting bigger, faster, stronger. You know, I think my legs have been an important piece of, of my game the past couple of years. So just keep working on my running ability, you know, throwing the ball, you know, trying to be pinpoint accurate, um, you know, in all levels of throws, deep balls, intermediate, short throws, um, you know, just keep working progression-wise, the playbook you know, defensive awareness and all that. Thanks. And in terms of Musgraves offense, do you feel like you guys have gotten more time to study more plays? And do you think it's going to be more complex this upcoming season? Yeah. I mean, last year we had about three or four spring practices, which were, you know, the first days we ever met Coach Musgrave. And then we had a shortened camp where we, you know, we couldn't really install everything. Uh, so we came into 2020 with a shortened playbook, uh, kind of some basic things. And then you know, we're taking what what worked from last year and keep building on that, and we're adding new things for this season. Um, you know, obviously, we show things uh, in today's game, um, but uh, you know, I think just the level of comfortability between Coach Musgrave and I uh, is definitely special, and we're just going to keep building on that. Thanks. Okay, we'll go to Trace Travers with Rivals. Yeah, Chase, you had one early throw to uh, Nico down there in the. Uh, got down to the one uh can you walk us through your uh what you were thinking on that play yeah well it should have been a touchdown uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say that uh but yeah so you know we were running the ball really well uh we knew the defense was preparing for the run so we called a play action 
roll out naked right. Uh, we had Nico on a double move. Um, you know, there's, I believe it was split safety. So I just had to keep the safety off from flying over to cover him. And then, you know, he made a great play, just put the ball where he can go get it. He jumped up and snagged it. Um, should have been a touchdown, but, you know, we, we scored later on. So it's all good. And then the play right after that, you had the little play action to Maharo. Was that same kind of thinking there with the play action? Yeah. I mean, you're on the one, two yard line. Defense is thinking heavy run. Uh, so a little, little play action there to get the defense biting up. And then Maharo was scot free in the end zone. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, David Bush from Baron Sider. Yeah, Chase, so uh, you had a good chance to watch your backups, um, Zach and, uh, and Robbie. Uh, what'd you think of their performance? It is some good things. Uh, I mean, they, they both have had a really good spring. Um, you know, the 15 practices we've been together and put in, you know, they've accomplished a lot of things uh, and they each bring something different to the game. Uh, you know, Zach's a young guy. This is really his first time, you know, kind of getting the playbook down because, you know, we had a shortened spring. He was an early – or yeah, we had a shortened spring. And then, you know, in the fall, uh, you know, it was more geared towards the ones getting those reps. But he's had a lot of reps this spring, and I like what he's built – what he's got. And, you know, he's got to keep building that in the fall camp. And then Robbie as well, you know, he's been here for a while, so I'm kind of familiar with how Robbie plays and how he thinks. And he's also done a really good job this spring. Um you know, the, what he brings to the QB room is truly special. And he's just also got to keep building on, on what he's accomplished so far. Thanks. Okay. Anybody else with a final question for Chase? Uh, looks like Max Frankie has a question. Go ahead, Max. Chase, can you talk about what it's like to uh, play against uh, Stanley McKenzie and uh, Ricky Carrera in the middle and like, from your point of view, what's it like playing against those guys and seeing them just take up space in the middle? Yeah, I mean, I generally don't pay too much attention uh, to defensive players, you know, and how they perform. But, I mean, I've seen those guys play, uh, both of those guys, you know, for how young they are and how big and talented they are. I mean, they're truly special. Um, I think, you know, they have a really high ceiling here at Cal. And I think, you know, this year they're going to showcase what, what they can do. Okay, anybody else with the final question? I think we got 